I sometimes get friends from abroad coming over to Iceland for the first time and I always offer to pick them up from the airport. Unless it's super early in the morning of course, then they can f*** off. And when I do pick them up, I never take the normal route to Reykjavik. I always take the long route, because it's much, much more interesting. But I don't have any friends coming over at the moment. So I just went to the airport and I asked random strangers if I could give them a lift to Reykjavik. It's fair to say I got two strangers that I picked up from the airport. Yeah, I don't actually know you. You yeah. don't know us. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair to say, yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's two ways to get from the airport. Long way, and then there's a short way. The long way is maybe two times longer. Instead of one hour, it's two hours. But it's much, much more scenic. That's what I want to show you. Yeah, let's do All the right. long way. All right, awesome. I told them poor clueless fellas that they would be in Reykjavik in roughly two hours, plus maybe an hour for stopping and admiring the scenery. So let's throw up a clock in the corner and track our progress. I only have three hours to impress them and get them back to Reykjavik in time for their evening plans. I'm going to start by showing whatever their names are, the Brits between continents. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this place. So we are standing in America now. Technically, the continent of America. If you cross that bridge, you're in the continent of Europe. Or the other way around, I don't know. Nobody cares because it's not actually true. This gap over there is basically because tectonic plates are moving apart. So it's ripping the earth apart, basically. All right. All right. Okay, so they had exactly zero ounce of give, so we might be in for a difficult day. But let's see if they are impressed by the landscape. One out of 10. Interesting. So I would give this a five. We're gonna start low. Basically, just a bridge. It's a great bridge. This is a metal bridge. Yeah. Is there anything they like about this place? You can draw on the sand because of the, the sun. It actually bakes the top layer, and then underneath, it's darker. I guess that's something. My masterpiece. No. It started to occur to me that maybe they just had no clue where they actually were. The whole thing right here is Greenland. Yeah. And we're on Iceland. Yeah. That was a lucky guess. Let's move on. We made an unscheduled stop at Stampa. It's basically a 2000 year old crater. I've never stopped here before. So we, we've been on the moon and we've been on Mars too. If this was like a superhero movie, this would be, all, would be on fire. All right, I'll edit that. I was definitely impressed by the view and this was a great place for the guys to wonder what it would have been like if we had gone to France or Portugal or something instead. I give it a five, same rating. Yeah. You're very generous. It's got a scariness factor to it, though. So if you're afraid of heights, don't do cartwheels over here. Going down is somehow even more difficult. Turns out that only applies to old turds like me. It's a good job he's got decent shoes on. So it says here Jupiter, and we know here girls come from Jupiter. Oh, I thought they were from no, Venus no, or something. Boys. I did some research into this and it turns out that most women come from Earth, but these shiny metal balls are placed alongside the entire road starting in Reykjanesbær and ending up at the geothermal power plant near our next destination. Basically it's showing the scale of the solar system. There was another one down there somewhere. My astronomy lessons were about as useful as health advice from Gwyneth Paltrow, so we move on. Maybe they will enjoy getting attacked by birds. And then where are we going to now? That is called Reykjanesbær. Going up there? There's a lot of these killer birds. They will pack you in the head and it's gonna hurt. Stay off the grass and if they attack you, raise your hand. Begin a raid. These beautiful yet annoying bastards are called Arctic Terns and they are just protecting the uh, eggs and young ones. They travel 20,000 miles each spring to get to Iceland, from hell probably, to make more annoying little bastards. And they are damn well going to make sure that they stay alive. They are all over Iceland in the summertime, and the best way to avoid what? them is to stay away from their colonies, like we're not doing. Okay, you gotta go down there. They will usually attack the tallest targets, so put a stick in the air or your hands, or okay. alternatively, travel with a taller person. I think this is a great place to do the ratings. This is a 2 out of 10. Why? 2 out of 10. Killer birds. I'd say without the birds, a 7. <laughs> with the birds, maybe a 5. I'm not taking the, the attacking birds too much. Well, they hadn't seen the other side yet. That's got to deserve more than a five out of ten. Oh, yeah, that's like... What do you think, Alice? Yeah, seven? that's not good. Okay, so they didn't like getting attacked by the Arctic turds. So let's move on to a place where there are no birds, because we killed the last one. According to legend. Last great big dumb oak. It was killed because it was stupid and couldn't fly. This place is called Valenhukamur. I want to see if you can say it. Valenhukamur. Can you say it again? Valenhukamur. Valenhukamur. Valen newcomer. Not even close. Valhalla. <laughs> yeah, it's actually Valhut is saying. You can actually climb up there. If you're getting some value from this video and you think others might too. This is where it gets scary. How about hitting that like button for the blessed YouTube algorithm? 
I'm beginning to think that John and Eric might be starting to become impressed. Holy guacamole. Wow. But we will soon find out that their rating system is somewhat flawed. Sure. Hey Carl, we gotta do the rating. I give this place a 6 out of 10. I like this place. Wow. Yeah, bumped up one. We're gonna go with an 8. 8? Very generous. This place is also littered with Will Ferrell pianos. Yeah. I was sure they were going to find this interesting, but it turns out that they haven't even seen the movie. Also, this note is stuck right here. Oh no. Maybe junk left by Hollywood isn't the tourist attraction we thought it was. So let's move on. So you hear that noise. It's basically just coming from that thing. And you can really like feel the power. What? Probably like a mile away. We're gonna see that one over there. Now this place is something else. This, this guy's right here, under a lot of pressure. <laughs> Make sure you stay on the paths, or else you will probably just die. Presenting Iceland's largest mud pool. And now that I say that out loud, I realize that it doesn't quite have the ring to it I was hoping for. But let's see what Ben and Steve have to say about it. I'm gonna throw up. And if I haven't made that clear already, everything here smells of sulfur, also known as fart. Well, we lost the audio at some point. Mm -hmm. I like this place. Oh, although I will say it was under a lot of pressure, but Tried. I would give this um, an 8 out of 10. I'd say an 8 out of 10 as well. Walking through the it's steam cloud is fun. And that shot of you walking through them clouds is like a superhero. That's epic. Highly recommend. Hmm. All right, our next scheduled stop is quite a long drive away through Grintavik, which is your last chance to grab something to eat. But we are running out of time, fast. We drove right past the lava field from the volcanic eruption in Faradalsfjall in 2021. If you are going to add this place to your list of stops from the airport, you will need at least an extra hour or two for the hike, depending on how much of it you want to see. I have a whole nother video on the hike to the eruption site from when the volcano was active, but let me know in the comments if you would like me to visit it again and find out if the hike is actually still worth it. So we are stopped at cell 2 now. This is the first place really that has toilets. How would you rate them? Very smelly and also there's a sulfur smell. So it's No, even, that's outside. That's not from the toilet. It's even smellier. Yeah. It's the combination <laughs> of the two. The bathroom's really nice. It's got graffiti. It's got style. It's probably really 6 out of 10. Yeah, 6 out of 10 bathroom. Awesome. Very clean. Okay. I've been driving you around, showing you all the great places. You basically rated the bathroom better than that first place. This proves that their rating system is somewhat flawed, although the bridge between continents might just be worse than a public bathroom. Or maybe that was just an amazing bathroom. I don't know. I didn't go in. Give him a gift. There we go. You have the cameraman and you have the camera dog. Seltun <laughs> is another one of those gorgeous geothermal places that will kill you if you step out of the beaten path. Oh, well. There really is no other place like it. And it only exploded once in recent memory. An absolutely gorgeous place for a hike. You hear that sound? Sounds like something's cooking. Earth is cooking. Oh, cooking hibachi right now. You could stick an egg in there and cook it. That rock kind of looks like sushi, though. You don't want to eat that. I have to go to the dentist if I eat that. You have to go to get some professional help if you try to eat that. This is the place that exploded. I love the noises here that it's making. You can just imagine why this exploded, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a steam engine. You hear that, like, it's like a train, like, duh, duh, duh. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, technically yeah. speaking, this could blow up again any minute. Now time to see how impressed they are. Hmm, how would you rate this, Alex? Eight out of 10. It's really cool. Give yeah, this is an 8.5. It's our highest rating so far. Yeah, it's nice. The, there's nice sounds. It's warm. You know, these colors, I mean, they're coming through the camera quite nice. Do you agree with me that the camera is not lying? No. It really is this color. Very different. It looks cooked. It's like yeah, the it earth like, is it looks cooking. Like, it looks like the earth is cooking. It looks like kind of like scrambled eggs in a way. I was thinking more like beef stew with the rocks being potatoes. Don't come here on an empty stomach. You're making me hungry, actually. We've blown way past our three hours, and our dinner plans are out the window. It's quite nice down here also. Alex. You're Alex, right? You're Alex. No. Oh, sorry. I'm Mitch. But you can call both of us Alex, if that's better. Yeah, that's better. It's easier to remember. Now that we have established that, let's head to our final stop before getting the final verdict from Alan and Alan. Carl, I'm hanging out. Our final stop is this gorgeous, perfectly clear lake. So this is Klevava. You wanna follow the dog and do that Lion King thing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is not very graceful. What's it doing? So this is 11 Alive News. So what is your favorite ice cream cone flavor? I love Iceland! 
You heard it here, folks. He loves Iceland. Back to you, Jeremy. Still kind of smells like sulfur, so I'll give it a five for the smell and a seven for the view. I'll give it an eight for the view. Uh, the smell doesn't bother me, so I'm not gonna give that a rating. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The water is clear. You can see right through. A very interesting uh, diving spot. An earthquake in the year 2000 created a crack in the lake, which drained it by about 20%, and it never fully recovered. Yeah, it's poisonous. It's good. Right? Good to drink. And I definitely don't recommend you drink it, although uh, it's probably fine. This took way longer than three hours, and I have to be honest, I really thought it would take about three hours with stops, but time flies when you're trying to impress random strangers you picked up from the airport. It was about 35 minute drive back to Reykjavik, and we were exhausted. So we met up the next day and I got the final verdict. So, what stood out? What was the best part? The best part, I'd say, was probably the bridge, drawing the sand. That was really cool. Also, the geyser, the mist. That was cool. The cloud factor. With the epic hero That's shot. Yeah. Him coming out of the clouds. Yeah, yeah like cloud cool. one time. Like a Terminator. Uh, I'd say the, the geyser is pretty cool too. And also looking out off of the, the distance with the uh, scenery and the world is just really pretty. A lot of, a lot of cool sights. Overall, yeah. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Iceland is pretty nice land. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been keeping that one? <laughs> <laughs>